Hi guys, my name is Mary and I'm 18 years old and this is my sister. I'm Victoria and I'm 15 years old. We're here today to find out about the different career options available to us. I've just finished my A-levels, what to do next? I'm doing my GCSEs and there's loads of advice out there but we're here to sit down with some people and find out how they got to where they are today. We better get going. I'm on my way to meet a young lady by the name of Marsha. She's a fashion freelancer and has a thing for luxury designer bags. Let's go see what she's about. So why don't you start off telling me a little bit about what you're doing at the moment? Well, I'm doing this really interesting, it started off as an internship, but I'm kind of celebrating now because it's just turned into a part-time proper employment. And when did you know this was the right career path for you? I never knew. It's changed a lot. Um, and I think it's quite unrealistic to, to, to expect to know what you want to do, because I think depending as the years go by, your opinions change of what your abilities are and what you feel like doing. Um, what steps did you have to take to get to where you are now? Well, like I said before, I didn't know it was going to happen. I kind of, I worked for quite a long time in, uh, in various department stores in London. I didn't go to university to study, which was one of the things that I thought might hinder my career choices because I was surrounded by, you know, working on the shop floor. A lot of the girls I was working with were at university studying these various fashion related courses. And I always used to feel a bit let down or a bit intimidated by the fact that I wasn't in that institution. But actually, you know, when I'm, you know, now I'm coming across people that are also doing internships in my company and, and other people that have come and asked me for advice and, and find out how I got to the jobs that I'm doing now. And they're at university right now and they've just finished university right now. So I kind of think the years that I wasn't at university has given me all this quite a big variety of work experience, which is actually really invaluable in this, in this industry, definitely. So what kind of support did you get along the way? Right now, actually, I've just met a fantastic woman who has just agreed to be my mentor, <laughs> which just involves us meeting once a month, talking about the things that I've been doing. And, you know, it's just gold dust for me because I'm listening to all the choices that she made and all the paths that she took. And I'd encourage anybody, if they can find somebody that inspires them, to, to definitely grab them. <laughs> As soon as you leave university, you're just out there. You have to do it all by yourself. And I, in my experience, I meet a lot of, you know, students that have graduated, and they just they don't know what to do. They move back home, or they're in a lot. Of, this isn't for everybody, but just the, the just the guys that I've come across. They um, you know, they lose their drive because there's there's no tutor telling them to finish this project, and there's nobody caring about what work they do. So it's not a regret. It's just it's just you know I suppose if I could have changed it I would have just done what I'm doing now sooner but it's only now that I have the confidence to do it so and what advice would you give to young people starting off on a new career path yeah get advice and don't be scared to ask anybody people are always flattered when you ask them for advice you know so um yeah just talk to as many people as possible and get influences from lots of different people <laughs> <laughs> thanks a lot for talking to my us my pleasure I found all your, all your information really useful and I think other people thank you I'm on my way to meet Comrade. I hear he has a very inspiring story. He went from being homeless to now working as an editor with CNN. Thanks for agreeing to be interviewed. Can you start by telling us what it is that you do? Yes, I'm a video editor for CNN Creative Services. So I um, edit videos, cut DVDs for clients and other stuff for sales requests. What steps did you take to get here? Well, the thing was, at the time I was homeless, I was living in a hostel, and I was really going through a bad time. And a, a lady came in and said, we've got a project going on, do you want to take part in the video and editing, you know, for young people? You don't mind me asking, how did you, how did you become homeless? Oh, that was um, reasons, like personal reasons oh. to do with, fami with family, sort of thing, me not getting on with family. Um, you know, I got kicked out and became homeless, so to speak. So I was from there, I was sort of on my own to sort of cater for myself, educational needs, job needs, financial needs. And I think in a way that sort of made me stronger. What obstacles did you have to overcome? 
There's a lot of obstacles to overcome with me being homeless as well and trying to get a house. It was a bit of unstability and getting a job. Because the biggest challenge for me is who you want to employ someone who is homeless. So that meant for me, I had to try extra hard to sort of prove myself, to prove that I'm skilled and just as able as someone else who you know, has a house or has a degree. So I guess it's a bit of determination on my part. To be honest, no, you don't need to go to university in order to get that dream job. It, university is just one route to where you want to get to. There's other routes as well. For me, I think it's voluntary work because not only this job, but my last job as well, I got through in a voluntary sort of route. So I, I, you know, I do the placement for a couple of weeks and then I got hired as well. So I think yeah, I've been lucky in that respect. Um, what advice would you give to a young person who's starting out on a new career path? Um, my advice to them is to find out what they like, what they really love doing and focus on that. I mean, there's a lot of other options they can do, such as not only voluntary work, they can even go to work for themselves. There's a lot of help and, you know, grants to help people start up in that respect or to start off with doing short courses maybe in the area that they're interested in. Thank you for agreeing to be interviewed. Thank you, it's a pleasure. Yes. Right, so I'm outside the Bernie Grants Art Centre where inside is a young entrepreneur called Mikhail. He has his own entertainment company and the DJ. Let's go find out a little bit more about him. So why don't you tell us about what you do? I am the technical manager for the Bernie Grants Art Centre. Um, I also have a f my own company called Bomb Entertainment. Bomb Entertainment started out of a youth club. One day, four of us decided that we we're going to come up with something of our own. When did you know this was the right career path for you? I've always enjoyed drama in school and was into drama. And then um, in doing drama, I went along to Hackney Empire, which is where it all kind of kicked off. I was in a Saturday morning drama class there. Um, and from there, I just kept on going from one field company to another, got interested in lighting and sound and so on and so forth. Started doing freelance with my company, Bomb Entertainment at first, which led into work in theatres and then which led to me getting this job here. Do you have any regrets? One regret would be for me to have kind of held back on a lot of things, finished everything off and then continued. At the moment it's like I find myself battling between uni and work. And it's like, all right, I, I want to finish uni, but at the same time, I'm just going up and up and up and up and up. What advice would you give to young people starting out on a new career path? I'm always telling young people, why don't you do this? Oh, I don't know where to go. Then look, go and find it. You'll find it. It's out there. It's waiting for you. You just have to go and, and strive for it. Just keep going. Sometimes things may not look as good, and there is very, very helpful and decent people out there who will help you along the way. Yeah. Well, thank you for doing this interview with us and I found everything you said very interesting and useful and I'm sure other people will. Thank you very much. Um, I found it quite useful actually. I learned the importance of surrounding yourself with people who are going in the same direction, career direction as you. What did you learn? Well, I learned that it's important not to just sit around and wait for, thing ha for things to happen. Mm -hmm. If you want something, you need to go out and get it. Valuable lesson. So that's us done for the day, guys. We hope you learned something and good luck. <laughs>